All right, we're going to watch Jillian's breaststroke here underwater. Jillian, remember, as we're watching the breaststroke, also take some time to check out the notes we put in the email. Um, those notes are there just to kind of give you different ideas of things that we're seeing that we want you to continue working on um, or maybe see things that we're seeing that you do a really good job of. So do make sure you kind of focus a little bit more and think about what we're doing on, on all of that. Um, it's also a good opportunity to take something that you can kind of read right before a meet or even a race or even before practice, just kind of thinking um, about different things that we're seeing that we want to work on. Obviously, the first thing is that head position. You can see that as your head starts to fall in the water, your eyes are down, but you immediately lift that chin up. Make sure you keep that chin and that head position down, looking down all the way through. Um, good job of stacking those feet. Good job of hitting those feet on the wall. I'd like to see you keep your knees up a little bit as you hit the wall, but that was pretty good. Definitely need to talk about those fingers as well. So let's kind of start this over, Jillian, and let's kind of break it down step by step. All right, as we start our breaststroke here, you can see right here that your eyes are looking down, right? So that's right at the end of your stroke um, or at the end of your recovery phase as you're pushing your hands forward. That's exactly what we want to do. But then you can see right away you lift your chin up, okay? And this is almost looks like a butterfly press down. You want to make sure you're really pressing those hands out to the side and pressing down a little bit too. You don't want to keep them up quite so high there. And definitely don't want to be lifting up that chin. When you lift up that chin, everything slows down because you get a lot of um, a lot of drag coming in towards that face. All right, so we want to make sure we press out here. This is really good. You have nice high elbows. That's a lot of good strength. Make sure you get those hands scooping in. As you bring your hands right toward the surface of the water, you can tell that those shoulders are above the water. That's excellent. Really good job with that. As we start to push those hands forward, you do a really good job of pushing them forward. We've seen a lot of people where they kind of fall down. You're doing a great job of moving your hands forward all the way through. That looks excellent. Just remember right there, don't lift that head up. We don't need to lift that chin up right away. The other thing you want to try and do is right here, you start that next pull. Right, So you've already started to point those hands out. Your legs haven't finished kicking. Don't be in a rush. There's no reason to rush. Get into that next stroke. So if you can actually hold that kick um, or hold that first pull, that next pull, just a split longer, let those legs come together, you're going to actually get a little more distance with each stroke of breaststroke. Right now you're getting about one or two strokes um, for every basically three strokes you're doing, about two strokes everybody else. So just work on that a little bit better. As we get a little bit closer, you're going to be able to see how those eyes are looking straight forward right early. Okay, um, Keep your head down all the way through. You can see right in the beginning, you're right where you need to be. Head position is perfect. These legs look excellent. you got a good flexibility in your knees. you got your ankles turned out to the side. That's a really good kick, Jillian. The other thing that we really, really like is as you finish your kick, your body line is really pretty good. If you can see that your head's above your body line, and definitely look at these fingers and look at how wide they are and how crooked they are. Get those fingers a little bit closer together, but get that head down here. If you get your head down here, you're in a perfect body position, perfect body line, okay? It's interesting, right at the very beginning here, you can see your hands are really wide open. As you start to get through that pull, you start to see you close your fingers. Great job of closing your fingers. We want them a little bit open, right? We don't want them quite as wide as you tend to do on that right side, and we don't want them so stiff that you're, you know, being too rigid. So make sure you're a little bit more loose with those fingers. Good kick. You know, really, your kick looks a lot better here underwater than what I would than, than what I've seen in practice. This is exactly what we want to see all the time. I mean, that looks really, really good. Finishing your legs all the way together. On your turn right here, you can see that your feet are stacked and you're driving your knees into that wall. That's excellent. I like right here that you've brought this hand already off the wall and your feet have yet to touch the wall, which really helps result in a good, quick, fast turn. What you want to make sure you're doing as soon as those feet hit, keep your knees, your feet should be on this position here and here so that as you push off, then you start to turn as you push off. You can see right here, you've kind of got your knees painted um, facing the sideways. Try and get those knees up just a little bit better. As you come off that wall, I want you to really look 
at these hands. You can see that the streamline is not as tight as it could be. Head position is good. Body position back here is good. But look at all of these hands, fingers, and how wide they are. And it's just little bitty waves that you're causing, a little bit of, of drag that you're causing. But that drag that you're causing is the beginning of your stroke, right? The beginning of your streamline. We don't want the drag there. If, if there was one thing that was down in the back by your feet or something, that'd be one thing. But here, it's right in the beginning. Get rid of that drag. Great job of doing the dolphin kick at the top of that stroke. Keep your head down. From here, okay, on the pull-out, make sure you throw those hands to your thighs and make sure that's where you get the most strength and speed at that point here. All right? When you do your underwater pull, you can see that your hands are close. They're still a little bit out to the side. Just get them on the front of those thighs just a little bit better. Remember, eyes down. But again, the body line is exactly where you need to be. As we get ready to do that breaststroke kick, slide those hands a little bit closer to your body. You can see right here, you've got them straight down, which is causing a little bit more drag in this area. Make sure those hands slide from your belly button all the way up your body, all the way up to your chin, so you can drive a little bit further. Little shallow there in that underwater kick too. So do make sure you're a little bit deeper. But man, you are way past the flags. You're probably, I'd say about two body lengths past the flags. So well done on working and getting your underwater pull out a little bit further. Keep it up, Jillian.